Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So in this one, I want to show you a Shopify store that is currently making approximately $25,000 profit every single year. In the grand scheme of things, a modest achievement. However, I feel like it's really important to show and feature stores like this so you guys can see exactly what it takes to get those level of results. I put out a poll on my channel a few weeks ago asking people why they got started in dropshipping, how much money they wanted to make. Over 70% of the people that voted wanted to make over $10,000 every single month in clear profit and that was the reason they wanted to get started in this business. So by featuring stores like this, it can help kind of give you realistic expectations. So what I'm going to show you today then essentially is draw back the curtain and show you behind the scenes of a store that's making 25 grand profit per month. I'm going to show you the products they're selling. I'm going to show you the ads they're using to sell that product. I'm going to show you the Shopify store. I'm also going to be taking a look on Flipper as well. So we can see the background contextual information and what sort of platforms they're using to sell their products on. And essentially, so you can see everything that's involved in a business that makes 25 grand profit every year. That way, depending on what your goals are you will then know what it will take to get to that next level so if you want a business that makes 50 grand profit per year then you need to go above and beyond what you're about to see today okay so here we are then on to flipper.com um, the company is called the sound pod the site age is 11 months with a monthly profit of two thousand two hundred dollars and it has a profit margin of 28 percent given my experience in the drop shipping space now since 2016 i can tell you 20 30 percent is about average I also think the fact that they've only been in business for 11 months and they've already got a very profitable business is a great achievement. It's something not to be underappreciated. I don't know of any single job out there that would give you a two grand per month pay rise in the space of 11 months. And even while 25 grand might not be a massive amount of money, given the return on investment time-wise, it is a massive amount of money because to run a business of this size, you're literally talking three to five hours per week. Okay, so some background contextual information. Customers, this brand acquires customers with TikTok ads. They target the United States. Um, they target a male and female ages 18 plus. So pretty broad in the grand scheme of things. If you're based in the UK, if you're based in Australia watching this, then essentially what you have in front of you now is a tried and tested product, potentially presenting an opportunity to take it to a different country and replicate the sort of success that you're seeing here. However, given the fact that they've only made 25 grand profit, that still pretty much says it's a very unsaturated product. If we take a look at their revenue and profit then from the past 12 months, we can see obviously they had some really good months in those Q4 months. Typically, that's when every e-commerce business will do their best months. If I actually get rid of this tool here, we can see in December they did 22K with a profit of 10 grand, which obviously is a nice amount of money to come through the door during those months. And what's actually really interesting is in January, they actually replicated that success. So typically you'd see a massive drop off, but they actually replicated that success with a profit of just under 7,000 US dollars. And then after that, it really dipped down. It'd be interesting if I was somebody who was interested in buying this business, I would be asking why there was a dip here. Why didn't they continue to scale if sales were still strong after the Q4 months? That being said, it's still an active business that's regularly turning over, as we can see. So four grand, um, 10 grand, seven grand, profit of one, seven and two, four. So there definitely is potential for this business. Once I show you the Shopify store, I'll also point out some of the things they could probably do differently to build on top of what they already have. So here's a screenshot taken from their TikTok ads manager. So we can clearly see the proof here of what they've been doing. Their total cost of the ads that have ran up to this point um, is 29,000 US dollars. Their CPM is in and around $7, which is very good actually for the US. They have a cost per click of 0.43, which again is, is pretty good. It's better than average for sure. 3,000 3.7 million impressions, I should say, 67,000 clicks and a 1.8% average CTR, which again is about right. What's really interesting here is the best performing in terms of CTR um, campaign wise, they only spent $30 on it. And the most money they spent here was 22,000 and that was on a 1.78% CTR, even though they have this one here, which is 2.1 and they have this one, which is almost triple this one on 4.39. However, they only spent $30 on that one. So again, that'd be another question I asked is why didn't they pursue the clearly um, better performing ad here? Now you might be thinking, well, it's because it had zero conversions after $30, that is not enough money spent to come to any kind of definitive conclusion 
conclusion of whether something's going to work out or not. So again, that would be another question I would ask if I was interested in buying this business. Before we move on, guys, very, very quickly, 30 seconds of your time, I just want to make you aware of the free training that I've recently created. It's one hour long, so when you've got the time to put aside, bring a notepad and pen. It's on demand, so you can watch it anytime you like, and it will literally take you through every single step you need to take to take you from day one as a complete beginner with no idea what product to sell, and it will show you every step you need to take to launch that business and make your very first sales in less than 21 days. Like I mentioned, it's 100% free, won't cost you any money. All I ask is for your email address, and that is so I can send you this. This is my personal hand-picked selection of 194 profitable product ideas for 2023. So if any of that sounds good to you and you wanna grab yourself a copy of that, um, after this video, just check out the top link in the description down below. Cheers. Let's jump onto their Shopify store then and see then the setup behind a 25K profit um, business. So first thing that stands out is there's no branding. Um, obviously they have the logo here and the logo at the top of their store, but there's no custom packaging, there's no logo on the product at all. So again, if I was somebody considering buying this business, that would be my first and next steps. They clearly have a validated idea here that's working. So why not reinvest that money into the business, into a branded product and branded packaging. So you come across as more professional, more legitimate, um, and ultimately convert more people. As we take a look at this section here, it's quite busy. There's a lot going on. Um, I'm a really big fan actually of product descriptions or the initial what you see on a product page being like this because it's less typical to a default Shopify theme and it kind of helps set you apart from any kind of typical dropshipping business. What it also allows you to do is answer all of those questions that a customer needs to know um, about a product before they buy it. So for those people who are in a rush or those people perhaps are prone to being distracted or those people who pretty much come to the website all ready to make a purchase, they can see what it does, they can see the kind of benefits of why they would use it, they can see some more features and benefits of it, the sorts of things they would want to know, and then just hit the add to cart button there and then, without having to try and get them to read a ton of information about the product and sell them on a product, because all the information and kind of um, FAQs, if you like, have already been answered at the top here. I'm gonna get rid of my tool here, because what I wanna do is play you this video. This is actually a really nice video. Um, in fact, I'll turn up the volume so hopefully you guys can, see, can hear this. So as you can see, hopefully you heard that it's, it does a really good job of showing exactly what the product is. And it's kind of like before and after the effect, um, which really helps sell the product. As we move down then, one thing you might notice is there's an add to cart button there, add to cart button there, add to cart button here, add to cart button here. It's not a typical um, default Shopify theme. This will be an app which they have installed to allow people to do that. And it's a fact, the more add to cart buttons, the more buttons that are on a page, um, the more clicks you will get, which is only gonna help increase your conversion rate. So by having certain things like this on your Shopify store can definitely help. So we have a review, a social proof section here. Um, we have the different features and benefits laid out um, quite nicely. We have, again, more features and benefits, more social proof here. You may have noticed this lady from the flipper.com listing as well. So this has to be the main ads they're using, which I'll show you in a second. They have kind of like why you'll choose SoundPod versus anybody else. I really like this feature. This is something I use myself quite a lot actually to kind of help differentiate my businesses from anybody else or any other competition selling the same products. Another add to cart button, an FAQ, and then of course they have reviews at the bottom. We can see then they're selling the products for $40. Um, if we jump on to AliExpress, we can see this is a slightly different version this one looks like the same you can buy it for five pounds plus five pounds shipping to so 10 what's that fifteen dollars delivered so twenty five dollars of profit there looking at about ten dollars for this one so thirty dollars profit there again about ten dollars there so in and around sort of 25 to 30 dollars profit depending on who your supplier is again another reason to private label and bulk source these things because you could drive down that price probably by about 50 percent making your business a lot more profitable if we come onto their tiktok page then we can see they've got lots and lots of different creatives the one i'm going to show you today though you guys can obviously go and check these out yourself so I don't have to make this video like two hours long this is the one with the most views this is the one with the girl from this image it's also the one that's advertised mainly in their product page as well so let's take a look at what creative this is and again i'll put the volume up here so you can hear it guys it just unboxed my new sound pod it turns anything into the speaker look at this oh. 
So a really nice video there. Um, obviously somebody who's very confident probably does this for a living on screen. I'm talking about the product, showing the before and after and really demonstrating how effective the product is. Um, does a really good job. And again, she's doing it multiple times just to really kind of drive home that point of what it does. She quoted the brand there as well, original content, which is nice. And also something else that she does, which won't be random either, is the fact that she shows how to use it in many different settings, how you can use it doing the laundry, how you can do it when you're doing your makeup, how you can do it when you're in the kitchen cooking something. It does a really good job of showing the many different applications for it. So they have it in its own right, a very successful business making 25 grand profit per year. To summarize their setup then, so they obviously have a Shopify dropshipping store. They are selling a product which they're sourcing from a supplier in China and they're using UGC TikTok ads to get their customers. So, so generally speaking, a relatively simple setup that every Everybody watching this video can certainly replicate so definitely some food for thought in this video if there's anything I could do to help you get started just leave a comment down below I read every single one so I will get back to you and of course if you want that extra help in hand make sure you check out that free training in the top link in the description down below thanks for watching guys I hope you enjoyed it I hope you took away some value don't forget to comment like and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video on Wednesday cheers